All right, y'all. Y'all, these karmics starting to get on my nerves. They really are only because um, they want things to stay the same. They want the world to stay the same because that's how they eat. But we're going to pull these cards. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and pull these cards because I want to clear this energy up first. Because the comments, that's all they focus on right now is how they their money, what they're going to do if people start to wake up and realize what's going on in the world and realize how they're being manipulated and under spells in order for people to, to profit off of them. Or for them to profit off of people, excuse me. Yeah, they're profiting off of people, but they have people confused. So this is they're manipulating through spirituality. Okay, but let's pull some cards and see what the universe wants us to know for tonight. Okay. See what the universe wants us to know for tonight. What does the universe want us to know for tonight? And I'll pull in my card. Straight up to my face, fake love. They look up to me. They look up to me. But they show straight fake love straight up to the face. But they really, really inspire them, Divine Feminine. You are their inspiration. They don't tell you that. They can never give you that much power and that much um, say that you really inspire them and give them new ideas. They just want you to be aware that this person is definitely a stalker, a creep, a, a troll, somebody who behind the scenes, person, two-faced. Um, they just want you to be aware because this person gives fake love straight up to your face. This person acts like everything's good acts like they are supportive, but really behind closed doors, they talk shit and then try to take your ideas. You might need a spiritual bath or spiritual shower, okay? And you guys really need to cleanse. I know some people say they take it, but what's your intent when you make the water? What are you thinking about when you turn on the water? When you're prepping it, what are you thinking about? Do you sage your space before you get in your bathtub? Okay, what are some ways that you're keeping that energy pure after you get out the bathtub and you cleanse yourself? Okay, so think more of your spiritual bath and your spiritual shower and how can you enhance it? Okay, how can you make it a little bit better? What can you do to improve that experience of cleansing and purifying your body, okay, and your mind during that, that time and afterwards? How to keep that same aura and energy, okay? These two cards were stuck together. Oh, this person showed off your pics and videos to other people. So this person showed, wow. Okay, herbs. Okay, so this can be a time where you're healing and you're focused on healing. This person was out doing knucklehead ass shit. Doing stuff that grown men shouldn't be doing. Because if you're a grown man, why is you showing another people pictures? If you really about, you know, okay. Because they're sexually frustrated. So they've been talking about the divine feminine, showing the pictures, showing them who they were, who they could have been with because they are feel sexually frustrated because the karmic people, their energy. What, what you gonna do with karmic energy, bruh? You can't, it's like, that's trash energy. They don't want a trash puss. So it's like they're getting a trash puss, they're getting this trash energy. They needed divine feminine energy to bolster their ego, to bolster their esteem, to make them feel a certain way, to make them feel like they're a divine being. They needed that divine energy from a divine individual. But they, they're not getting that from that karmic. The karmic can pretend to be divine, but the energy, see, see, as long as they had the divine feminine with the karmic, as long as they felt that divine energy, they was good. But when the divine feminine started stopped dealing with the karmic masculine, who was once divine, and stopped dealing with that karmic individual, that karmic could not deliver that same energy that the divine feminine was given to the karmic. It cannot be delivered from the karmic because they don't have that same energy, that same aura about themselves, that same essence. They don't have that. And it doesn't matter how long you guys have been apart or not together, whatever. That, some people's love lasts a lifetime. Divine Feminist, your love lasts a lifetime. Okay? So sexually frustrated, but this Divine Feminine is evolving. So this Divine Feminine, you're evolving, you're ascending, you're focusing on yourself, you're cleansing, you're healing. So you're in this, this butterfly state of mind. You've already been wrapped in the cocoon. You've are, now you're on your way to opening up your wings and really evolving. You're taking that, that step, but you know it's like a little process in between that. 
You're in that in-between process right now, but you're evolving. Okay, you can also have an Aquarius in your life. I have Aquarius in your chart, okay? And this Aquarius could be, you have to see where it's at in your chart because this could be a reason why you chose to evolve. So your kid can be Aquarius. Um, so you probably evolve for your children's sake or you can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Look up your chart. You can be more familiar with that and figure out where the Aquarius lies in that chart. But you're a light worker. You know you're here for a reason, okay? That's why you know evolving is mandatory because you have a greater gift that you have to share with the humanity. So you can't focus on karma's bullshit. Because if you focus on karma's shit, you're not focused on evolving and becoming that butterfly because you know that butterfly, it, when, when you see the butterfly, the, the cocoon turn to butterfly, you see the, the, the process of it morphing into something else have you noticed, do you ever see anybody else around? You see any butterflies around them? No, because they're going through that transformation on their own to themselves. Do y'all see that white just go across? There, yeah, because you got to go through that, but you'll have your angels with you. You have your spirit guides with you. So you're not alone. You have your angels with you, your spirit guides with you, the ascended masters are with you, you have the sources with you. So they are with you. So don't think that you're alone alone. You have the unseen forces behind you. An auntie. You might have an auntie that passed away that's looking after you, have, or you have an auntie. What is this about this auntie? Because I see fake love. What about this auntie? Remove ancestor altar. So somebody's auntie's not really... Because if it says remove ancestor altar and the auntie, that means your auntie ain't there. So somebody think the auntie's there for them or room for them, but the auntie is not. Their auntie is not on their side. This can be an auntie that passed away or this can be an auntie that you honor in the, the, that's living and non-living. Either way it goes, you honor this auntie and you think this auntie's out for your best good, but this auntie is actually not. So remove her from your soul tribe and from your ancestor altar because this auntie is not. And I just feel certain energy. Yeah, somebody's auntie's mad. I just said it. Yep, they mad. Don't, but you don't come over here to that bullshit. I'll cut your auntie out. I don't have time for this shit. Okay? Because they mad because they, there's something about them want to be stuck to your energy. Oh. The bitch don't come over here. You can't handle my energy shit. Did I just cut off your supply? Oh, I just cut off their supply. Somebody's auntie was using them as a supply, a source, of, a supply source. So that way um, they can continue to do whatever lifestyle that they used to live. This is in the, in, the, in the dead of the living. And now they're mad that their supply has been cut off. And now they need a new supply. Well, bitch, uh-uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not about y'all. Because they mad, I can fit it. Connect with yourself. So you got to connect with the true you, who you are, without all these energies that try to take from you, try to be in your energy field, try to be in your aura. Figure out who you are without everybody else around. Why you're in isolation? Why are you becoming this butterfly? Why are you involving? Connect more with yourself. Connect with source, but find out what your likes are, what's your dislikes, uh, uh, what keeps your vibrations high, what makes your vibrations low, what keeps your energy up, what keeps your energy low. What uh, keeps you, what makes you in balance? What balances you out? Learn more about yourself, okay? You, so your intuition, intuitive is right here. So use your intuition when it comes about people, places, or things, okay? Make sure you connect with yourself because if you connect with yourself, you're able to use your intuition more, okay? But you have to use, you have to connect to yourself to understand what that intuition, what that gut feeling is, okay? So connect with you. Because you have Christ energy, so you have Christ within you. So that's why you have the willpower, the endurance, the strength that you need. So that's why you use your intuition because if Christ is in you, then you know your intuition is accurate and it's correct. So you must use it. But in order for you to use it, you have to connect to yourself. By connecting to yourself, you're also connecting to Christ energy because Christ energy is within you. So the more you connect, that's why I said the more you connect to source, the more you connect to yourself. The more you connect to yourself, the more you connect to source because source is in, inside of you. Okay, look what they did to Christ. So with the isolation period and having Christ had to go through the different obstacles and trials and tribulations on his own. So look what they did to Christ and how Christ had to uh, overcome those obstacles. Okay, and had to use a willpower and had to really know himself in order to see what the people were doing to him and what they didn't realize what the fuck that they was really doing, even though they knew what they was doing. They was pretending they didn't know what they were doing, but Christ knew all along what they was doing because he had the intuition. He had Christ's energy within him. 
So he knew. Okay, so y'all know what's going on. You guys are aware of what's going on, so use your intuition, okay? These cards I picked up already, but somebody really needs to remove their altar, of their, their ancestors. They need to understand they're a light worker, so it's important that they evolve, okay? Aquarius in their life, but somebody sexually frustrated for taking a spiritual bath will help that. Also, herbs, focus on eating more herbs and putting herbs in your spiritual bath. If you have not already, try doing that, okay? Um, but yeah, this person was immature, Okay, so anything else you want us to know? Because so far it seems like the Divine Feminine is going on a great path and of using her intuition and moving forward past any trials and tribulations. So who's giving this fake love? Is it the, oh, it's the auntie and somebody who they pray and they're living in the dead? Somebody is not. It was fake love when it was on this earth. You had no idea so when they passed away. You had no idea it was fake. But that love is not real, so stop praying to them and stop thinking that they, they really love you and care for you. This, that's not the case. So that was important for tonight. And this press could be on your, your altar. What else should the collective know for tonight? Something just flew, should I take it? And that, that body ache could be something more. So if you're feeling aches and pains in your body, that could be magic going on, voodoo dolls going on, people thinking they fucking funny and shit. When you feel aches and pains, that could be because people think everything's a fucking joke and a fucking game. But they don't realize that shit gonna come back some tenfold, so they wanna poke and prob a shit. Even though you feel it, you keep going because they're gonna feel it ten times worse than you feel it. So that could be something else. That can also be people trying to send you different entities and stuff like that, trying to stick them on you because they're a hater ass motherfucker who really can't evolve in their own lives. They wanna ruin everybody else's life and ruin what the what source has for you because I know at the end of this rainbow is is so much pot of gold and abundance that it even scares your enemies. This could be for a Libra. I'm a Libra. Is this for me? Okay. So this could be a Libra. This could be a Libra dealing with this. This, These two want to come out. And this this one like is like wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. So this one's accept that I'm a player. So this one, Mr. Wiggles in the back. Who wiggling his ass in the back. He probably wiggling in the orgy. So he's probably the guy in the back. Who doing the little, his little orgy thing. Because uh, he was wiggling. He wants you to accept that he a player. And he crushed a lot. Y'all, don't have me cut off this karma mask. I ain't got time for no karma bullshit tonight, okay? Okay, they have they have caused enough havoc in divine feminine's life and divine being's life. Because this, you ain't the first divine feminine you think they, that they fucked over? No. They've been doing this. They've been doing this for lifetimes. It's the karmic cycle. They've been doing it. Reincarnating on this earth and doing the same damn thing. But keep going, Divine Feminine, because they're doing the same thing and they're on a karmic cycle. Get off that cycle. Get off that fucking loop. I'm telling I will leave your ass. I will leave your ass. You better get off this loop. Somebody just sent some... I don't know why they were trying to send me codes and shit. Let me tell you something. Your shit ain't gonna work on me. My ancestors, they really protect me on this journey. Cause, and then they already know I have a willpower like a motherfucking Antichrist energy. So I'll even... Listen. Don't even bother. They just must be aware. That's all that is. Be aware. Know what's going on. Know what's happening. Don't keep a veil under your eyes. Don't act like you in La La Land. Just know what's going on and you keep it moving. See, it said keep going. Look, be aware and it said keep it, keep it going. Keep it moving. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. But you keep it going. Look, keep it going. This is the universe talking the same thing, y'all. Okay. Tell me more. Just what else do you want to know? What else should they know? Okay, this went to flip, so we're going to take all these. She deleted your messages. So if you had text individuals. So is this a karmic energy? So I say tell me more, and the karmic want to jump out. But anybody talking to you? So she deleted the text messages. But you're a galactic being. So it don't matter what was said in the past, what happened in your past, you're a galactic being, period. You're not from this planet. You are not from planet Earth. You were sent to planet Earth to, to fulfill a mission for humanity, but you are not of planet Earth. You are not of this here. That's why you never felt like this was your home. You're like Dorothy. You're clicking your heels. Like, I want to go home. Where's my home? <laughs> Please, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't want to be here. This cannot be it. This cannot be it. Am I a fucking robot like everybody else? Because why the fuck am I in this shit? You're a galactic being. You were sent here. This is your mission. Mission planet Earth. 
you're a divine being. So you're also an extension of Christ. You're an extension of source. So you're also a divine galactic being. So you're not just a galactic being. You're not just an alien. You're not just from a different planet. You're not just from a different moon. You're divine on top of being a galactic being. So you are double. That's a triple, triple, quadruple force to be fucked with. Why do you think you're able to go through this magic, go through all this darkness? Why do you think it takes a whole a whole bunch of covenants? Because it's not just one covenant, not just two covenants. It's a whole bunch of covenants working against one person. And they still can't break them. They still can't crack them. They still can't get to them where, you know, they can't. It only hits, it only dust is on top of them. That's it. And it goes away. Divine feminists keep pushing. They keep having that willpower and that strength and that endurance. And they cannot figure out how the fuck. Because they're galactic being and they have Christ energy. They cannot be stopped. Only delayed by worldly things. That's because the divine didn't know. But now that she's anointing, she's aware. She, it can no longer distract the divine being. They're saying to sage. Sage your energy smudge. Do a cleansing, you guys. Y'all can never cleanse enough. I don't care if y'all just say, I just sage my house. Bitch, I don't. And I say that with endurance. Sage drinking. Listen, y'all know how many times us readers sage and cleanse our energy, cleanse our aura, cleanse our crown, cleanse our feet. You know, cleanse our home, cleanse our children, and then we'll do Florida water, and then we'll do these. Like, there's so many different stuff that there, you'll do. Like, if you feel any type of energy, any type of shift, don't feel bad or ashamed as if you cannot do it. You are capable of doing it. Just cleanse your energy, whatever makes you feel comfortable, okay? Whatever makes you and your children feel comfortable. Drink some teas. There's teas that help as well. So do those things that help cleanse it inside and out. Take them baths. Even if you're sitting there for five, ten minutes, you get your ass in there and you take it. If that's what makes you feel better, if that helps your aura and your energy field, okay? This could be a neighbor, Sage, because your neighbor. That could be for me as well, you guys, because people don't understand that when you're in the knowing and you're aware, you know when people are doing magic. You know people are doing dark shit. You have intuition, you have feelings, but people don't know who you are, but you know who they are and what they're doing. So they don't know what you're capable of, so they underestimate you and they think that, oh, this is probably a nobody, this is probably a robot like everybody else that they can put under MLK Ultra and do mind control with. And they like realize, wow, this person is not an ordinary person, but they are I put their foot in a cookie jar. So what they have to do, they have to get other people to group against you, but they don't understand that you've already went against a whole covenant and a whole bunch of covenants, so you don't fear any of that. And you came out winning and successful, not even a scratch. So therefore, you know, you realize that you, you cannot be fucked with and you are highly protected and your ancestors, your spirit guide source, they're protecting you highly and heavily and people don't understand that. They will understand it because guess what? If it blocks my energy field and it blocks us, the divine's energy field, it has to go somewhere. That energy has to go somewhere. So where does that energy go if they send it to somebody and it don't hit that person? It has to go back to the sender. Because that energy, it's energy. It has to go somewhere. So where would that energy go? Back to the dumbass person who sent it. See that? And that's why I say people be thinking I'd be doing hardcore shit to them. I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to say nothing. I don't. Because my intent is always pure. I always have pure and good intent. So if somebody else has that ill will and that negative intent, Towards me, it's going to bounce back off and it's going to go straight back to them. And they thinking that it's something I'm doing. No, it's something that you did to your own self by by just being an ass when you, you there's no reason for it. Just because you want to do magic and, and play games in somebody else's mind. You cannot do that to people. I don't care what you know. And we all know a lot of shit. That does not mean that you can go ahead and take it upon yourself to try to dominate somebody because magic is domination. Period. I don't give a fuck what kind of spells you do. It's domination. And for you to dominate somebody is real fucked up. That's that slavery mentality. You get what I'm saying? That's And who, who wants to be a slave to somebody else? Like, really? Like, let's keep it real. You know, they act like we don't know shit. Like we're not capable of doing stuff, too. It's like we don't have to. That's the thing. You don't have to. When you get to a certain level when you ha and you have the protection that you have, you don't have to lift a damn finger. And that's just real. So people looking at, you know, people look, oh, like you're the bad guy. Or, oh, you're doing this and that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not one thing. They, they can't believe it. They're like, but how is this? Well, what did you send to me, you dummy? What did you send to me? Because whatever you sent to me is what you're going through. So you have to realize what you sent. 
you probably forgot because you were moving out of anger. That's why you don't move out of anger. Because you probably forgot what the fuck you said and, w and what your intent was. You, they forgot. See, my intent stay pure. I'm like, well, I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm a nice person. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go about my day. You get what I'm saying? My, my heart's pure. I have no bad intent. I have no ill will. I say nothing ill towards them. I just go about my day. Therefore, you see how my intentions are pure. So what does that do? I'm already, I wake up and I'm protected. So when they try to send that type of energy towards me, it goes back. But you know when things boomerang and ricochet, it, it hit off, but it bounces back and it goes. So if something bounces back off of something, it, it goes off harder. So if you throw something, a ball at something, right? You throw a ball, boom, it come back full force, harder. So when you, when people do that, they have to realize that. That's why I tell y'all, don't get into, into doing shit. Because you never know the wrong person that you're doing it to and the consequences. There's universal law and there's consequences. Do not get trapped. And, and I know some people do it on accident. Well, I thought this person did this to me or I thought, don't assume. That's why you can't assume. Because that assuming will get people in trouble spiritually. And they don't understand what they have done. They thinking it's, it's somebody else. No, baby. No. So, and I just, I share that with you guys because I, I don't even go into depth with it, but I saw them do a magic and they thought I didn't see them and I didn't know what it was, but I saw. I saw. Did I acknowledge, did I confront it? No, I go about my business. Again, <laughs> if that's what you choose to do in your life, that's what you try to do. But if you're doing it to me, that's a problem that I don't deal with because my ancestors deal with that. You see what I'm saying? So I don't address it. Okay. I don't address it. I don't say nothing. A couple days later, y'all seen them try to, you know, the dream state and all that. So you can't, you cannot try to prove a point in my dream. You can't do that, bruh. So then they got a rude awakening because my ancestors, they said, no, 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 we're not having that. And did I do, y'all, my heart stayed pure. You get what I'm saying? I still had good intent. I kept my eyes open being aware because now I know that this person has lost the battle. So what do you do? What does a coward do when they lose the battle? They go get other people, right? Because they lost. Even though I didn't even start the spiritual battle, they did. My ancestors took care of it. They, they're upset about that. So they have to add other people. Oh, well, this person's doing this. Manipulate the situation. Dominate the situation. To, so other people can go against one person. But they don't understand that this person is putting you guys in a spiritual war and a battle that y'all don't want to be in because they already got consequences for that. That's why they got other people involved. Yo, that's their business, man. Listen, I'm still going to stay with my pure intent. Right? And that's their business. That's their choice because we all have choices and a, and a conscious person would say, really, how do you know that person did this to you? A conscious person would ask more, like, why would she do that to you? Or, they would ask more questions. They wouldn't just go, oh, she did? Oh, let's run with that and let's just do all these, these tactics and these rituals against somebody, put all their energy, because they're putting their energy into those rituals. They don't understand. They're using their own energy for that, their own life force for, to hurt somebody else. That's what I'm saying. It's much deeper, you guys, and they don't understand. They're taking their own life. They're taking their own life force and putting it into something to destroy somebody else. Make it make sense. That's why I don't do fuck shit because that's too much energy you put into somebody else when your ancestors handle that, your spirit guides handle that shit. On a spiritual level, you don't, okay? That's their choice. I just shave, cleanse my energy up. But the, do they come near me? No. Do they not? Do they think that I don't know what they're doing because I don't address it? Yeah, they think that I'm unaware. But you don't understand I'm connected to the earth. You're using my elements, water. Uh, dirt right you're using my elements against me how do you think that's gonna work out y'all please tell me make it make sense y'all make it make sense honey Ciao. baby <laughs> but what they don't understand is they need to love themselves and I can see it on them that they just don't love themselves enough when people harm other people bad intent for no reason at all, that's because they're lacking self-love. If they love themselves, they would be so focused on, on giving themselves love and giving out love that they wouldn't want to give out negative energy towards somebody else. You get what I'm saying, y'all? 
they would spend that energy on bringing a, a love into the world. They would use their energy for a positive instead of transmuting it into something negative. And then have other people join such a negative situation. That's their choice. That's their business. I don't speak on it. I just know about it. I know not nobody's full. And they know that. Okay, because if you don't think that they, they, they you know, hear my readings and stuff, they, y'all, they know. They know I clap on my thing. But again, they want to do a spiritual battle. They have to one up. Again, they, they don't understand. They're not battling me. You're battling my ancestors, you big dumb dumb. Like, you're not, you're not battling me, fool. You're battling my ancestors on the 5D, bro. That's why you're not winning. But that's a choice. That's a business. So you guys just make sure if there's people around you who you get an eerie feeling from or you pay attention. People, they're pay attention to people's behaviors and what they do because you never know when somebody's doing magic on you. Especially when y'all, how the, do I look like I was born yesterday? And my voice sounds real nice and light and fluffy. But that's because I work with disabled people and kids so I have a certain type of voice. But I, yo... Please. <laughs> but these, these people don't love themselves enough. And if they was loving themselves, they wouldn't be doing magic. That flipped over. This could possibly be a Virgo. So somebody has Virgo in their chart somewhere. This person forever. Why did I get forever? So this person has done this in many lifetimes. So many lifetimes, they, they do the same manipulation and dominating tactics. Okay. She sucked a nigga so got a cash out. All right, that's their business. <laughs> Whoever business, I don't care whose business that is, but it ain't ours. Right, so is there anything the universe wants us to know about the individual, possibly the neighbor? What does they want us to know about the neighbor? What do they want us to know about the neighbor? Wake up. Why would it say to wake up? So this person, remember I said they try to attack in the dream state. But, however, they can't because your ancestors already wake you up in the dream state. And you already wake up a certain amount of time and you can feel their energy when they try to come and infiltrate through the energy. Right? Think positive thoughts. See, so anytime your vibration's low is when they try their hardest for, for magic. So... If you're in a high vibration, you think positive thoughts, it's not going to affect you. So that's why I stay in a high vibration, certain frequency. That way, it's their bullshit don't really even affect me. It wipes right off. Because I know how to transmute energy. That's another thing. Transmute that shit. When they give me their negative energy, they don't know. I'm going to make some coins. I'm going to make me some money. I'm going to transmute that energy. Matter of fact, I got to go to a store. I got to take care of all this business. I'm going to transmute that negative energy to some positive and get some shit done today. Thank you so much. I'll take it. Thank you. It was free, free energy for me because I transmute that shit. See, I don't take people's energy. I'm not with that shit because I got my own and I know how to regenerate mine and how to, to raise my vibration, my energy at any level. However, if you send your negative bullshit to me, I will transmute the fuck out of that energy and use it to my advantage. That's why I don't think about people. Y'all know I won't think about certain people because I won't give them my energy and my life force. And the fuck no, I don't even think about you. You don't even really exist. You don't exist... At all. At all. Because I don't give them no energy, no life force. You see what I'm saying? Y'all gotta be very careful who you give your life force to, who you give your energy to. Because give me my give me give me that energy, I'm transmuting it. Huh? And gonna make me greater. So be careful who you give your energy to, because if you don't give your energy to your enemies, because what do you think they're doing with your energy? If if I'm doing it with your if if listen. Okay, listen. Oh, it say, and I said, listen, say, listen to Pandora on Shuffle. So, y'all need to listen to Pandora on Shuffle. My phone's in there, but I want to go ahead and see what they want me to say about listening to Pandora on Shuffle real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get my phone. Give me a minute, y'all. Okay, so this is Pandora. I'm going to play it right here in front of y'all real quick. So this is Pandora. We're going to click Pandora. 
Um, I don't know if it's on shuffle. It's on. It's on thumbprint. Thuggish, ruggish bone. But we already been so stugs. Okay, we're gonna put it on shuffle because it's that shuffle, y'all. Girls like me featuring her. Jasmine Southern. I don't even know this song, y'all. Oh, it says, yeah, I made a profile on Tinder since you left me to be with her. I think that means I'm getting desperate. Y'all might have to listen to this song. I don't know this lyrics. No offense to these artists. I just, I love Jasmine Sullivan and I love her. Focus on me. I love these artists. I just don't, y'all, I don't know every song that's his, his the internet or his, listen. But so far I get, yeah, I made a profile on Tinder since you left me with her. So somebody got a dating app um, since you moved on. I think I'm, means I'm getting desperate, wish I could return to Cinder. Yeah, you did got desperate and you did that magic and it was returned to Cinder because you was in desperation to get the Divine Feminine. So they probably did some type of love magic or some type of ritual to get the Divine Feminine and it backfired to them. But you don't love me no more, see? But that didn't work. See, the the, 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 the love that it had, uh, it, it backfired. So they know, okay, it says, yeah, it was real when you blocked me. Now I sit at home judging my own body. So this person's body has changed since you left them. And now they're judging their own self and their self-esteem because they're not the same person as they was when you first met them. And they let karmic situation, karmic behavior um, change them on the inside and on the outside. Um, wonder what I did to lose you. What did I do to lose you? They ain't gonna answer that bullshit, y'all. They're gonna answer that dumb shit. They know they get more. You just convinced. You just said you didn't mind you, bro. That's that's enough. Goofy. Um, why in the hell you ain't choose me? Divine feminine. No, you didn't choose the divine feminine. So if you didn't choose the divine feminine, don't try to flip it. See, this is a manipulated motherfucker. He tries to flip it on divine feminine and say, well, you didn't choose me, so that's you the one who left me. They're trying to make you the, the, the victimizing. When they say that you're the one who left the situation, you're the one who made the situation be what it was. And that's not the situation, divine feminine. You gave him many times, many years, a lot of patience, divine feminine. Um, and it says, why don't you love me no more? And I don't know what's for. They don't know what, what made the love change. What At what point did you stop loving them the way that you once did, Divine Feminine? They're trying to figure it out. Because at, at some point, you just gave up on the situation, which is true. You didn't give up. You just said you was done with the shit because of all the time wasted and all the energy wasted and all the shit and the bullshit, karma cycles and all the shit. You said you was no longer dealing with it no more. It was a conscious decision Divine Feminine had to make. She did wait as long as she could. But it was a decision that she had to make. And now he wants to understand at what point did you make that decision. But nigga, it was a decision that was really, was already into play. It was just the divine feminine, whether she was going to to roll with that, her decision and stick to it. Okay. You must have wanted something different. Still don't know what I was missing. What you asked, I would have given. It ain't right how these hoes be winning. Why they be winning? So this divine, this, this. This current masculine who's once divine feels like he's no longer winning. He was once winning with all the bitches around him, all the orgies around him, all the shit around him. This divine, or this divine masculine who was divine, but then dropped to a karmic masculine. But I'm getting a situation that he was divine and he had a decision between the karmic and the divine. And he chose a karmic situation, thinking that she was a divine because she tricked him. And because he chose the divine, um, he chose the wrong person, and that's when things crumbled. So when you guys meet your new person, make sure you guys make the right decision because you guys don't want to be in the same shoes that the divine masculine was in who turned into a karmic because of the karmic people he was dealing with. So you guys don't want to have to bump into that. So make sure the soulmate is really a soulmate and not a karmic because you might be tested again. Just be very careful with that test, okay? Be very careful, but let go of control, though. Okay, so don't try to control when you meet your soulmate, what's going to happen with the soulmate, how it's going to be, how it's going to play out. You know, go with the flow with this and let the universe guide this because this is universally guided. That means that man can't control it. And when man tries to control shit, shit goes bad. We know that because what was going on on the earth, it shit got out of control. And now people trying to put a stop to it and it's just so way out that it's like, okay, we're going to have to do another fucking, uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, clean sweep. It says, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Y'all probably the master talking about cussing me out. He cussing me out because I'm talking about, see, he don't want me to talk about that soulmate. See, he he feel like he the man. So this, ooh, this man feel like he the man. He said, 
said, bitch, fuck you. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> nope, because you cussed me out. You don't ask me nothing. We're not letting him ask some shit because you saw he was rude to me, divine feminine. Y'all gonna let him be rude to me, divine feminine? Y'all gonna let y'all karma cuss me out? And think I'm going to relay his message? No, I am not. No, we're not doing that over here. I will not relay his message. <laughs> so let's talk about that new man. That's so many, y'all. This so many. Y'all really going to love this so many. Matter of fact, let's pull some more cards on the soulmate since the karma master won't talk that shit. Let's pull on the soulmate. Universe. What should we know about this new divine masculine coming? Please give us something good on purpose. Let us know about this new divine masculine soulmate that's coming in for divine feminine. Give us something good. Let us know something good. The ex. This, look. The ex, and it say only in it for the money. This ex is all up in your energy. Remember I said y'all can save as much as y'all need to. I'm going to save you again because he's all up in your energy. He's like, this ex wants to come in so bad. I said, tell us something good. He's like, the ex. The ex won't come in. The ex, oh, the ex going to try to bring you something good. The ex going to try to bring you a gift. The ex going to try to pamper you, wine and dine you for the night, make you feel like a queen, make you feel like the best thing he did never had. Shouldn't have done that. But that's what this, this they're going to come in. They're going to try to bring you something. Okay, but they're really in it for the money. They're going to act like they have all the money. They're going to act like they're spoiling you, but they are behind closed doors. They really want you to give them the money. So they're going to give you a little inch knowing that you're going to take the mile for them if they give you the inch. So that's what they're banking on. So the universe is going to say, yeah, they're going to come in. Your ex going to come in with something good. So they're going to come in like a divine master. They're going to come back as if they're changed. They're going to come with something good. They're going to come with a gift. It's going to be with your ex, but they're really in it for the money. So they want us to know. They want us to know that. They want to know beware. Okay, it's the same person who cussed me out. They said, beware. They said, yes, yeah, some good's coming, but he gonna bring you some good too. But just be mindful. Okay? Pet. Get you a pet if you need a companion. Get you an animal or a pet because this person definitely treated you like you was one. Like he can just come and go to you whenever he can. Like he can feed you bullshit when he wanted to. Then go play. Like, he can um, neglect you wherever he wanted to, abandon you when he wanted to, but he knows that you're loving and you're his best friend and you're somebody he can confide in, so you come back to him even after the neglect. Because you know how when you neglect a pet, I don't have any pets and I don't neglect pets, but you know how pets love you unconditionally no matter what. So no matter what you do, your pet's going to love you. You can be a mean old grumpy motherfucker, your pet will love you. Okay, no matter what. So no matter what, you love this person unconditionally, but this person treated you like a pet, okay? But she was really just love unconditionally like, like as children do or as like pets do. It's the unconditional love that they give off no matter the circumstance and the situation, okay? Listen to Pandora on Shuffle. And again, it says fake love. So let's see what's on Pandora on Shuffle. We're we going to change the song. Okay, let's go to next. I've loved you for a thousand years. So this person, you was past life, this karmic person, the reason why he came into this lifetime with you, this karmic individual, because you guys have karma from the last past life. So whatever happened in your past life, it carried on to this life, okay? And it carried on to this life because, yeah, you guys known each other for a thousand years. You guys known each other for a long time. Um, and... You was actually waiting for this person in this lifetime. You're waiting for that same person. However, things didn't go as planned in this lifetime. Okay, they want you to stay in a karmic cycle like in the past life. But Divine Feminine said, not this lifetime. Divine Feminine said, no, if you're willing to move, work on you and to, to, to move with me and move forward with me and to, to go ahead and go with me, then yes. If not, then Divine Feminine says, not in this lifetime. You cannot drag me anywhere in your bullshit. Because Divine Feminine was tricked in the past life. She was tricked. In this life, she she now, she knows. So she's not going to be tricked again. Hearts beat fast. Promises. Colors and promises, right? How to be brave. How do I love when I'm afraid to fall, but watching you stand alone, right? All of my doubts suddenly goes away somehow. So now that you by yourself, Devon Feminine, now that you moved on, now that you're standing alone without a companion, without a partner, without somebody that's going to be there for you in this journey, now that you're by yourself, they're like, 
but watching you stand there alone. How can I love you? I'm, I'm afraid at this point. They're afraid because all the shit that they've done, they're afraid to come towards you as you're standing there by yourself in your power. All my doubts suddenly go away and sometime one step closer. And then they try to take a deep breath to, to call you, to text you, and they want to get closer to you in some type of way, get back into your energy field as you stand there alone because you have not found the soulmate has not came yet. So right now, the soulmate has not came. So the divine thing I'm talking to, the collective, this soulmate has not came to you yet. You're standing in your power right now. I have died every day waiting for you, darling. Don't be afraid. So this is now, I'm hearing this is from your new divine master who's, who's actually, so... The karma master is right here. You're standing alone in your power. And you have your divine master that's looking ahead, walking towards you. And he's pretty much like, I've died every day waiting for you. So this person has wanted to meet you. He knows that he has somebody out there that matches his soul. He knows he has somebody who mirrors his soul. He knows that the twin flame journey was for spiritual growth. But he has somebody who, who mirrors his on his inside. It's not a twin. Right? They say a twin mirrors you. Y'all... If a twin mirrors you, then why the fuck you ain't doing orgies and threesomes in the karmic cycle then? If, if your twin mirrors you, then why the fuck you ain't doing the same shit your twin doing? Y'all don't mirror each other. You and your twin are opposites. You guys are opposites. Y'all don't mirror each other. Because if y'all mirrored each other, you would be doing karmic shit right now. You're not mirroring your twin. You're soulmate. You guys have the same soul. You guys are on the same soul journey, soul path. You guys, y'all, people be bullshitting y'all just to make some dollars. Listen, your twin is not mirroring you. Because if they're going through karma and you're not, how the fuck are y'all mirroring each other? If they're on one path and you're on another, how y'all mirroring each other? Y'all not. I hate when people be giving a collective false bullshit. Y'all soul, soulmates, y'all souls are very similar. You guys are here for your soul journey, y'all soul purpose. That is more of a mirroring effect, Okay. But then it says, as we continue on to this, it says, um, darling, don't be afraid. I've loved you for a thousand years. So this person too. So your soulmate, you, this is a past soulmate. So this person, your new soulmate is somebody you've met in the past life too. You guys had a relationship in the past life. So you guys will know each other's soul. You guys will feel familiar. That magnetic pull you felt with your twin flame or the false twin flame or the karmic flame. You will feel that magnetic pull, not the same energy, but the same magnetic pull, the same yearn for each other, the same want for each other, the same desire for each other, okay? Because um, this person has loved you for a thousand years, and they'll love you for a thousand more. So this person has always loved you in the past life. They plan on loving you more, and they are going to be so happy to be with you in this lifetime. It's going to be magnificent, you guys. It's going to be beyond love. I... It's going to be beyond anything you can impossibly imagine how you've ever been loved before, okay, with this soulmate. And he's going to love you for a thousand more. So this is going to be a soulmate you're going to spend eternity with. Eternity. Like, because it's a thousand more and he's already loved you for a thousand and he's meeting up with you again. And y'all going to spend a thousand more together. And damn, how many eternities do you guys got? You guys, this is a long-term shit now. Y'all going to go to the next life together. And be done with these karmics. Done. They're on a whole different planet at this point. Whole different timeline, whole different planet. Y'all ain't gonna be on the same planet on the same moon. Okay? And all along, I believed I would find you. Time has brought your heart to me. I have loved you for a thousand years. This is a soulmate speaking at this point. Your soulmate has said, time has brought you to me. After all this time, after us being together in past lives, after us going through all these trials and tribulations, after us going through this karmic cycle, you have come to me. The universe has brought you to me through all this time. It's going to be how the notebooks felt when they finally came together after writing those letters on different timelines, on different timelines. They was writing letters back and forth, and they finally came together, and it was just so explosive, so magnetic in the rain. They just, it was, it was something so magnificent because... That's how it's going to be. You guys are going to finally be together again. Yep, he knew he'd find you again. He knew it. He knew he always had that soulmate out there. He knew that his soulmate was there. He's always known this. He just has not found it. He tried to find it in these karmic people, just as the divine feminine tried to find it in these karmic individuals because you guys mirror each other. It's your soulmate for real, for real. Fuck the twin flame shit. I don't mean to say it like that. Let me, excuse me, let me not say that. Let me edit that. No, I'm not going to edit that. 
let me just say this. this. This twin flame was for spiritual journey, spiritual growth. The soulmate mirrors your soul. That's who's going to push through with you. Okay? Your twin does not mirror you. Okay? Your twin is supposed to teach you certain lessons to evolve. And once you evolve, you are no longer on that same time frame with that same person because you have evolved. And because you guys are not twins, you guys don't mirror each other. You guys are evolving in different directions in life. Okay, so you guys are just supposed to meet during a certain time in your life, and then that's it. Then you're supposed to evolve and keep going through the different directions, right? That was the whole plan. Your soulmate is the one who's going to continue this soul journey with you. It's going to be the soulmate. You guys, in five, ten years, y'all come back and y'all say, yep, it was a soulmate. It was not the twin. Y'all come tell me because I'm not bullshitting you. Because how the twin flame will mirror you? It's the soulmate who's going to go through. Y'all going to talk about the karmic cycles y'all been to together. The karmic war stories. All that stuff y'all going to talk about with your soulmate. The new person. Because they've been through the same shit you've been through spiritually. They've looked up the different religions. They've been through the different obstacles with family and friends. They've been through people being asleep and awake. They've been through all those different things. They're going to be able to exchange the stories and the different stuff. They're going to mirror the same thing you've been going through. So if you have a platform, they probably have a platform. If you have a business, they probably have a business. Okay? These people, they're going to be on the same time frame, the same, same length as you, unlike the karmics. The karmics were not on the same time frame. Matter of fact, they're trying to hold you back and hold you down. These people are going to help you evolve because they're part of your soul journey, your soul tribe. So you're going to evolve with these people. You're going to move up. You're going to become the greatest self and continue to be the greatest self you can be with these individuals because they are meant to help you with your soul journey, your soul purpose. Okay? So that's the soulmate. So that's who the soulmate is. So please do not be like, well, my twin. I married my twin. I say, okay, so when did you wake up? Where are you at in your spiritual journey? Because if you're still with your twin, because the twins go through many trials and tribulations just with, within that. So how many trials and tribulations do you have to go with your twin? Y'all remember Hancock the movie, right? When they went... One always came to help the other. One was always came like, oh, this happens to me, this and that. One came to nurture and mother the other one, right? And it was a cycle. It kept happening, kept happening. And then one, and then one time they was like, okay, well, we got to be far apart from each other. We can't be too close together because things happen when we're too close together. But then we can't be too far apart. That's the same. It's a cycle. It's the same stuff with their twin. You always feel your twin. You always know when they're around you. You always better feel them energetically. They should not be attached to you, but you you be able to feel them. You, you you just know, okay. However, if you're still with your twin, you're going. That means that you're going to continue to go through those cycles throughout your entire life because it's a cycle that you continue to be to go on, right? Because they say they break up, the separation of the twin flames, to get back together, twin flames, the twin flames journey together, then the twin flames separation together. Then twin, so it's a cycle, it's a continuous cycle. With the soulmate, there's not going to be those cycles because you guys are on a soul journey, you guys have a, a, a bigger accomplishment with humanity. The twin flame, y'all so focus on that cycle and that karmic behavior that how the fuck are you focused on humanity? When you was with your karmic and dealing with that karmic shit, were you focused on humanity and changing the lives of other people or were you just focused on y'all situation in that house at that time and them text messages? Let's keep it 100. People are getting paid to talk about twin flames and talk about karmic situations over and over again, making a good dollar, making a good, good coint. Their whole lifestyle is based off karmic situations. They are making money based off of karmic behaviors and people staying in that karmic loop with the twin flame situation. But why be on a, uh, on a loop when you can evolve? Because if you evolve, that's going to help the twin flame evolve because they have no choice because they're going to see evolution right in front of their eyes. Because remember in Hancock, as she got better, he got better too. Y'all remember that? As she went on to spread her wings, he ended up spreading his wings too and becoming a better man. Y'all remember that? Until he couldn't take it anymore being apart from her. Because he knew her energy and her vibration was so high, he couldn't touch it. So the, the cord was cut. And he couldn't handle that. He was in the hospital. He couldn't handle that cord being cut because the vibration was just so high, he could not match that vibration. And if they can't match their vibration, you don't then stay in a lower vibration. Because then you stay in a karmic behavior. You stay in a loop. You have to continue to evolve despite the people around you who is not evolving. You still have to evolve as an individual. 
And if you're stuck on a twin flame or a karmic behavior or a karmic cycle, how are you going to evolve as an individual? You're going to stay in a karmic cycle. That's why you hear people 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, they're being the same man, going through the same shit. And y'all like, but wasn't he doing that 20 years ago? Wasn't he doing that 10 years ago? Was he doing that this and that? And you tripping now? And you damn near 40, 50, and now you trying to start all over. And it's like, well, that's because they stayed on that cycle. They stayed on that timeline on the hamster wheel. And they was on it for so long, they didn't realize how much time has went by. They on a wheel, going around and around and around. So what I want you guys to do is I don't want you guys to be on a wheel and go round and round and round. I want you guys to hop off that cycle and hopefully the other hamsters hop off too. And if they don't hop off and they want to continue on that cycle or on that circle, that's their business. Let them keep on that cycle. But you hop off because you know there's something greater than going into a loop over and over and over again. In that twin flame situation, that karmic flame situation, that karmic situation. Because they've been doing the same shit for years, divine family. And you're constantly evolving and that's why they mad. Because as long as you stay karmic, they have somebody to talk about. They have somebody to feed off their energy. But once you become a higher vibration, a higher energy level, they can no longer do that. So that's why you are not being, you are untouchable as far as the magic goes and as far as your ancestors. Because you're vibrating at such a high rate and your energy is so high that they cannot get to you. Understand that. So as soon as you decide to do karmic behavior and lower your frequency, you are susceptible then to attacks, psychic and physical attacks by the same people who you're trying so hard to stay attached to in the karmic cycle. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Sorry if I'm talking a little bit fast, but the information comes to me like a computer and I'm just, my mind is going a whole mile a minute, but it's coming out as it's coming out to get to the collective. I wasn't even realizing I wasn't even blinking. But, um, so I need you guys to focus on self love, self care because that's so much is coming. Should I pull in more cards or should we leave it at that? Okay, because this is already a long reading, but they said who cares if it's long? Okay. I talk to you through music. So your soulmate still connects to you through music. So your new, your old karma master, he talks to you through music, but your new one does too. You discern on who's talking to you through what songs. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. Do, do, do. So loving you is, is beautiful, it's easy, it's effortless. So this new Divine Masculine, loving you, he's going to be like, it's a piece of cake. It's the most simplest thing. Just Because Divine Feminine, you're actually a simple gal. You might like the luxury, you might like what you like, but you are a simple person and loving you is not difficult. People act like loving you was a chore, but loving you is actually easy. This person will find it easy. This person will find it nothing to please you, nothing to make you happy, nothing to make you smile. It's going to be so effortlessly that it's going to come so naturally. It's not going to be forced at all. This is the new divine master. It's not going to be forced. People are going to see it, and it's going to be so natural. It's going to be so lovely. And everybody's going to see that aura around you guys. Everybody's going to see that, that affection and that love is going to like pour over you guys. Literally like a waterfall where people are going to like focus in on that type of love because it's going to be so beautiful. Um... And it's going to be exchanged. So you're going to find this person loving him. It's not going to be a challenge. It's not going to be complex. It's not going to be a battle like it was with the last person. The last person was a battle. It was complicated. It was, it was like it was forced almost. Even though it wasn't supposed to be forced. It didn't start off forced. It just became forced. It became a chore. It's not going to be like that with this new soulmate. Okay? So I want you guys to... And this new soulmate is going to mirror you. So if you're giving him a lot of love, he's going to give that same love back. So he's going to mirror you as far as their love. So if you give yourself love, he's also going to be somebody who gives himself love as well. So he's going to know his self-worth. So he's going to expect a certain type of love and companionship from you as well as you're going to expect it from him as well. Okay? So this is your new soulmate. So I want you guys, I want to end it there. I want you guys to know that you guys do have someone coming for you and the universe sent him. And he will mirror you. So, if you vibrate a low, honey, you're going to have a low vibrating me. So, vibrate high. Love yourself. Care for yourself. I know y'all divine feelings. I ain't got to tell y'all because I know y'all doing it. Yes, y'all have our bad days. You keep going. You just keep going. Okay? So, that's my message for you guys tonight. I thank you guys so much for tuning in, for subscribing, for liking. If you made it this far, 
Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to start doing a personal readings um, very soon. Um, I'm just going to debate what I want to talk about because I don't know if I'm going to do karmic cards um, in the new reading. But I'll have to see depending on the, the situation and circumstances I might do. Um, let you know the karmic stuff that you need to be aware of, um, but also do readings on what you need to move forward and focus on in your future, just so that way we can create a balance, right? Because we need to create a balance within ourselves and with our situation, right? And the energies around, and the energies around us. Okay, so thank you guys for listening to my authentic self. I'm literally speaking off the head, speaking through from the universe is using me to speak through and to get these messages out. I don't know who needs to hear it, but this is just what needs.